friends, it's Mrs. Tucker. Today's story is lesson six in unit one of our journeys curriculum and the title of our story is Animals Building Homes and it's written by Wendy Perkins. So let's meet our author, Wendy Perkins. This is, can you guess why author Wendy Perkins has been called a walking animal encyclopedia? It's because her mind is filled with facts and information about all kinds of animals. Ms. Perkins has written nonfiction books about animal eyes, ears, feet, feathers, noses, teeth, and tails. She also writes articles for Highlights for Children and a magazine put out by the San Diego Zoo called Zoo News. Now, over here, we're going to talk about the genre or the type of story that we have today. It's another informational text, just like our story Dogs and our story My Family were informational texts. Informational text, the word information is inside of there. It's a story that gives you facts about a topic. So as we read, we're going to see photos and headings, and we're going to read some facts and details about a topic. And remember, the reason why the author uses photographs in this kind of story is because since it is a fact story, which means it's all true, everything you read in this story is real, the author wants you to see pictures of the real thing. And our essential question as we read through this story that we'll talk about throughout the next few days is what are animal homes like? A beaver's home. A beaver is hard at work. It gnaws on a tree trunk. Soon the tree falls. The beaver floats the log to a pond. There the beaver builds a lodge. The, be the beaver piles up logs. It fills the cracks between the logs with mud and grass. The lodge keeps the beaver safe and warm. Safe at home. Most animals need a home. Homes keep animals safe from predators, rain, snow, or the hot sun. Some animals live in their homes for life. Other animals live in their homes long enough to raise their offspring or survive hot or cold weather. Building nests. Many animals live in nests. A hummingbird builds, builds a small cup-shaped nest. The nest is made of moss and bits of spider web. A mouse makes a grass nest in the shape of a ball. The mouse hides its nest in tall grass or in a tunnel under the ground. Careful builders. Some animals put a lot of work into building their homes. Weaver birds make nests that hang from tree branches. The birds carefully weave grass and leaves together. Weaver birds use their feet and beaks to tie knots in the grass. Working together. Animals can work together to build homes. Termites have mounds made out of mud mixed with saliva. Other animals cannot easily break through the hard mud. Polyps are animals that make coral reefs. A polyp builds a limestone cup around its body for protection. The cups of the polyps grow together to make a coral reef. Making a burrow. Burrows are holes in the ground where some animals live. Gophers use their teeth and paws to dig long, winding tunnels. They make rooms in the deepest part of the tunnels. The gophers hide their offspring and food in these rooms. Home improvement. Some animals live in homes made by other animals. Chickadees use tree holes made by woodpeckers. Chickadees bring grass and moss into the hole. They build a nest for their chicks. Building a home. Most animals need homes where they can rest and raise their offspring. Homes also keep animals safe from predators. Beavers build lodges, mice make nests, gophers dig burrows. How does a polar bear make its den? And that's where we stop for today, friends. So if you'd like to go back and listen to the story, by all means, go ahead and go back and listen to it again. Otherwise, I will be talking to you again soon. Bye!